Hi, welcome to this special episode of the Dakar 2023 Motar Diaries. The presentation of the Dakar 2023 took place this morning, which will contain a prologue followed by 14 stages, totaling close to 5,000 kilometers in specials between December 31st and January 14th. The course starts at the sea camp on the shores of the Red Sea, finishing on the opposite side of the Saudi Arabian Peninsula at Daman. In between, the riders will have plenty of desert in the empty quarter, including the marathon stage that will mark stages 11 and 12 of the race. According to the organization, this is the toughest Dakar since the move to Saudi Arabia in 2020. There are several new parts of the country that were not visited in the previous editions in the itinerary that describes race director David Castreda makes the riders have sand for breakfast, lunch and dinner. In total, the riders will cover a total of 4,549 kilometers. Sea Camp, new concept of BIVAC, developed to bring the field of the Dakar together in the final stages of scrutineering, will also set the scene for the podium ceremony that will inaugurate the race. After going down the ramp, the vehicles will head towards the exit of the sea camp. The start of a short 11 km special on the seafront. The slim margins at the end of the prologue, back at the stages of the bivac, will decide the starting order for the first stage. In the reverse order of the prologue classification, the top 15 bikers will get to pick the starting positions in the next stage. Strategy comes into play from day one. On the 1st of January 2023, we are going to have the stage 1B. It's going to be 368 km special stage. It's going to end and start at sea camp. Play time is over as the rally truly gets underway with a well-rounded loop that will play into the hands of well-rounded competitors. Sandy tracks follow stony sections with a fair bit of gravel. First-timers will put their dune surfing abilities to the test in a final stretch. While not particularly challenging, this stage will provide an early snapshot where everyone stands. 2nd January 2023, stage number 2. It's going to be a special stage with 431 kilometers. The road to Al Hula never fails to deliver something out of the ordinary. Closed tracks make up the lion's share of the course. The stage will be decided on the dunes, with some of the majestic Nabahetan temples visible on the horizon. On the 3rd January, we will have the stage 3. Alula Hail. The competitors will leave the bivac straight away from a mind-blowing start to the special that David Castere has described as the, perhaps the most beautiful 50 kilometers in the rally. However, the drivers and riders will be too fixated on the race against the clock and the good drivers too busy charting the route to the succession of canyons. To give the panorama more than a cursory glance in the first stage. Taken together, these ingredients have the potential to shake up the standings in every category. 4th January, stage 4. Hail Hail. 425 kilometers of special stage. Even sly desert foxes, who have tamed dunes of every kind, seldom face their sheer mountains of sand like the ones awaiting the field in the first 100 kilometers of the special. Once that is out of the way, the tricky navigation on the sandy tracks leading back to the Hail will throw the competitors a curved ball or two. A laser-like focus will be essential to decipher and follow the instructions in the roadbook. 5th January, stage 5, Hail Hail again, a special stage with 375 kilometers. Sand, sand and more sand is the second loop around Hail, the Saudi capital of road racing. A field of small dunes with camel grass will give way to vast expanses peppered with dunes. Dune jumping proficiency will spell the difference between gaining and losing minutes in the slalom type section. Only the real experts will master the soft sand 
without losing time. 6 January, stage 6. Hail Aldu Adimi. It's a special stage with 466 kilometers. The field will continue to travel from coast to coast with the longest stage of the Dakar, which also contains the longest special. Speedometers will hit triple digits on the fast. Ample tracks that take the first half of the course through extensive plateaus. A barrage of dunes will inject some variety and ramp up the suspense in the final third of the stage. By the end of the day, the competitors and their machines will have nearly 2,500 of specials under their belts. 7 January, Stage 7. How do I me? How do I me? Special stage with 473 kilometers. This stage runs the gamut from undulating regions to sandy plateaus and stands out for its variety of terrain, starting with pebbles and progressing to formidable chains of dunes later on. Its growing course is a valuable opportunity for the podium contenders to bring down the hammer on their rivals. 8 January, Stage 8 How do I me Riyadh? A special stage with 407 km. The bivouac in Riyadh has become a familiar sight for the competitors throughout the first three editions in Saudi Arabia. But this special is all new. In the first part, the field will leave its way around picture-perfect valleys in the heart of the mountains before tackling a wide open desert. To wrap up the intense program of the first week and give drivers and riders a well-deserved rest. The final 200 kilometers will take place on the fast tracks. 9th January, rest day. In Riyadh, drivers will take a rest. For many, the rest day is an important intermediate goal. Whatever happens, it will be time for everyone to take stock of their strategy and use time wisely to recover in a balanced way. It will be shorter for latecomers, who will certainly have a lot to work to do on their vehicles. The rest will be divided between the maintenance necessary to get back out to the dunes and the rest in the truest sense of the world. All this while remaining focused on the competition. 10th January, Stage 9. Riyadh Harad, a special stage with 439 kilometers. The first stage, after the rest day, is not meant to put the competitors back on the track, but the robust handling skills will come in very handy in the wadis and canyons that made up the first part of the stage. Going off the track and struggling with navigation are just two of the hazards in the special. The field will also have to overcome a beautiful chain of dunes on its way back to the bivouac. 11 January, stage 10. Haraz Sheba. The selective section has been kept deliberately short in this stage. The Dakar's first foray deep into the bowels of the empty quarter. This appetizer offers a taste of a local delicacy, namely sand. A long raison will take up most of the day. It's a special stage of 114 kilometers. The liaison will take 509 kilometers. 12th January, stage 11. Shaiba Harda. It's a special stage with 275 kilometers. The first part of the marathon stage is basically a love letter to rally rides. The counter will hit 4,000 kilometers of specials right after the start, taking the race well into extreme endurance territory. The route designers unsurprisingly marked the occasion with a grueling stage of sand of every color. Keeping the vehicles in one piece will be crucial, as there will be no assistance trucks or mechanics to lend the competitors a hand at the bivouac. 13 January, stage 12. Empty Quarter Marathon Shaiba. Special stage of 185 kilometers. This stage will put the focus on the tactical acumen of the drivers and riders, who will manage to thread the fine line between not pushing their vehicle too hard and not losing too much time to more aggressive rivals. The answer will come in Shiva, in the second half of the marathon stage. Depending on the time differences in each category, the balance of power will almost be set in stone by now. 14th January, stage 13. Shaiba Hal Hofuf, a special stage with 154 kilometers, a very long liaison though, 515 kilometers. 
The departure from the empty quarter will be decisive on more than one count. On one hand, it is the final opportunity to surf on its chains of dunes. On the other hand, the last big stage could also provide a launch pad for an ambitious competitor fighting for the podium or his honor to move one or two places up the standings. The short special limits the potential for damage, but the physical and mechanical endurance can yet make a difference. 15 and last day, stage 14, Halo Fuf Daman. Special stage of 136 kilometers. Dakar has taken the field on a trip around the West Sea coast several times, including at the beginning of the 2023 edition, which will come to a close on the shores of the Arabian Gulf. This is an unusually fast beach special with little or no room for big changes in the standings. The competitors just need to bring it home to join the celebrations on the seafront podium.